Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And today we're gonna make some um, holiday Christmas themed uh, tags and ephemera to go in this journal I'm making. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I, I put a post up recently saying, ooh, I'm starting to work on uh, my first Christmas journal of the season. So um, I thought I'd craft some on a video while I'm working on it. So this is using um, a Botanical Christmas, that's the name of the kit, and it's by Collage Type. I'll be sure to link that for you in the description below. Um, and it's such a pretty kit. So there's um, lots and lots of um, just tags and some pretty um, ephemera, little fussy cuts, all kinds of things. I've done most of the cutting and cut everything out. But... Um, I also cut a whole bunch of circles, <laughs> which I'll show you what I've already made with some of those. But anyway, um, I wanted to make, um, put together some tags and ooh, it looks like some glue got stuck. Um, some pretty things now to decorate this journal with. And so that fun part I thought um, we'd do together while I'm, while I chat and we, we get caught up. So um, the journal itself has been put together, and I'm gonna give you a quick flip through of what I've done so far. So this is a pretty, um, it, it, it's semi hardback, it, it, it's nice and sturdy. Um, it's eight and a half by about five and a half. It has three signatures with that exposed spine. I did go ahead and I made a pocket for the front and made, um, just some pretty simple uh, tags uh, and a little piece to go in here that I thought would be sweet um, to help decorate the cover. So isn't that pretty? All right, and then let's see. Um, I've got a big corner pocket on the front and back covers, which is something I, I pretty much like to do. And the only thing I've really done is send the signatures in and I have made a belly band. Let me show you what I did. So I used the papers from the kit, printed them on both sides. This one, um, I, instead of turning the paper, um, do you remember in school they talked about um, hamburger being kind of on the wide side and hot dog being on the uh, vertical side? So I wanted the pattern, you know, to not be upside down or sideways for this one. So I did it hot dog and then I folded it up and over. So anyway, it's got a pocket. I think that's pretty clear what I did there um, where it's sewn in. Let's see. On the other side, there's the other pocket. Okay. Can kind of see that so I love how that turned out so I'm definitely going to want um you know some some um larger tags or items um to go in here I think that'll be really pretty um a little card and then I did I have made this belly band so you guys know I love these with the circles so um when I pr I printed on both sides when I did all a bunch of these um tags and stuff and so the off cuts I just punched different size circles and I did use this pretty red cardinal to decorate um, the belly band so I have a video up about how to make these using the circles um, if you like that so I had did make one and stick it in um, this was a file folder in the kit um, and I thought it would be really cute to just use it as pages in the journal. And then there was also um, this envelope. And actually this one I turned inside out. I put another one with the way it printed. I'll show you in a minute. But that, that's where my signature sewn in. And then I glued, I glued it together. So now we have a little envelope there in the middle. So I think that's really cute. Um, so that's the first signature. And then the second one's kind of similar. I did another um, pocket file folder. This is the envelope, um, just then printed with another paper inside. And it has the nice little detailing on it. Um, and we're going to make pockets, or I'm going to make pockets and put all kinds of things in here. And that's why I need to make a bunch of ephemera, right? <laughs> and tags and stuff. Um, so this was part of the kit where you could actually make a, a smaller journal and this be the cover. Um, I decided to add it as a page in my journal, just for fun. Um, and this was a, a page 
uh, that printed just like that and I cut out and another little card. So that's the third, um, another pocket um, signature. So um, I think it's gonna be really cute. I am i don't know if I'm gonna be adding a bunch of ribbons or I, I haven't decided everything I'm gonna do, but I know I need things to, to add into the pockets. So I thought while I'm working on making that, um, I could do a video. So, um, Again, this is one of those kits that just makes it so easy um, because there's so many pretty pieces um, to choose from. And uh, I kind of like when I'm doing a journal, I like to stay as much as possible kind of with the, the same ribbons throughout. I think it gives it a nice um, cohesion. Um, even though it is kind of a junk journal, probably going to use some burlap too. And, and I might add another, I, I, I may move over. This ribbon is pretty close to the front. I kind of like this red better, but it's, it's almost a papery ribbon. I don't know. Um, it was pretty inexpensive in the floral section, um, at the craft store. So, um, I like it and it does well. Um, like how I used it on this tag where it's just kind of glued glued down but it doesn't do well when you want to like try to tie it um, let's see I'll show you if you wanted to make a bow it's a little bit stiff whoa um, like I said I don't know if describing it where it's almost like paper is a good description but I definitely like mostly it's not even wanting to turn into a bow Let's see what it does. Okay. I don't know if you can tell in the video. I mean, it it actually looks nice, but see how it'll it'll almost crease. But I do kind of like that. We'll try it. We'll we'll see what we what we do. But I've got this one, which is similar, and then I also have that I got out that I think would coordinate to is um, along with the screen one is just kind of a taupey, um, taupey color, but kind of very sheer, very sheer hands up. Okay, so on the tags, of course, the easiest thing to do is to just um, print on both sides or layer the other side or leave it white, right? Because there's a lot of white in this kit um, and maybe staple or tie or glue a, a ribbon on and be done. I mean, they're so cute, you can do that. Um, I, on the ones I put in the front, I did add a little bit of a layer of something on there. Um, and so I think it depends on how decorated it is, uh, what I'm gonna do. So, um, do we do three like this and then, now this, I full disclosure, this had a different top in the kit and I can't remember exactly now what it looked like, but it was a little more ornate, very pretty. Um, my hands were getting tired, <laughs> so it fit perfectly in this punch that I have. It's, um, let's see, like the two, the two inch. And so, um, I just punched the tops uh, to make my life a little bit easier. Well, my hands, I was gonna show you really quick. So if you have, um, it does three different sizes and I think it's a We Are Memory Keepers, but um, you just have the top and it punches it into a tag. So depending on the size you pick, depending on the shape that it punches. Um, and sometimes it does make life a little bit easier. So I did do that with a few of these instead of completely fussy cutting them out, even though I, I did really like the design on them. So let's see what I can come up with to kind of dress these up even more, even though they're already very, very pretty. I said I was gonna start with three of each shape so we'll see what all I have to choose from. Um, like I said, there's so many pretties. I really like this snowman. Snowman. Ah, 
Santa. It was on one of the pieces of paper. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this over. And I'm going to ink, ink it up really good. And I'm going to wrap it around that green tag and kind of create, um, create a new design. Wouldn't that be cute? And of course, we'll do something up at the top here. All right. And then on the back, it looks cute too. So we're just going to glue this one down. Let's hope my glue isn't sticking to itself. Um, now, if I wanted to, I could even um, leave it open, maybe open on the side, and we'll stick a little something in there. So I'm just going to add glue to the top and the bottom. And, you know, you don't have to do that part, but it might be cute if I can find something the right size that's too tall. Um, you got to have room for where that glue um, closed it off. Let's see. Could go with something like that. That kind of that one goes in and you lose it in there. We don't want to lose it. Um, I know I'm gonna find the perfect thing here in a minute. If I just take my time. Um, that's a little fun. It does get lost, but you know, if I put a piece of ribbon or something on here, turn to the side. If I I really love this flower. Um, if I want it to, if I want to feature that on a, on another tag. So I may save it for just a minute and keep thinking about what would be cute in here. Um, let's see. This might actually do the trick. All right. It does the trick and we may put a little piece of ribbon on it too. That cute. Um, so we definitely don't lose it. Um, let's see. And there weren't a lot. Um, th these are actually little tags that um, collage type. She, she, if you sign up for her um, newsletter on Monday, she sends you freebies. So this coordinates with this kit. Um, and you got all these little tags. And they are the cutest. I'm cutting this one up just so that I can have the word. And we'll see how I did. So I kind of wanted a word somewhere. All right, it says snowfall. Da, 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 da. Where do I want the snowfall? I think I'm gonna actually just add it to the edge of this tag and then it'll pull out um, you'll, you'll kind of peek out a little bit more for us. All right, that was my vision. Let's see how it did. I definitely love when I work with, with people's um, junk journal kits, um, trying to find like different, different ways to layer things and to really kind of make it my own a little bit. Um, but again, it's so easy when the papers are so pretty. Um, let's see. I think there's a little surprise of color when you pull the little bird out. But I think I do want a little bit of color. So let's take this red I was complaining a little bit about. And maybe just, there's that hole here. But I have an idea. I've done this before. So, again, this is a little bit of a papery material, and I believe if I use my art glitter glue, which is really will grab a hold, and add glue here and all around and put this circle back here and really push this in, I think that bow is going to stay on there really, really cute. So we're gonna try it. So again, this is my favorite wet white glue and it really is strong and it holds really well. So I'm gonna make sure I have a lot there. I hope you can see that. And I'm being generous on this circle too. 
and let's see what happens. Oh, make sure I hold it here um, for a, a few seconds at least and let it grab a hold. And then I'm gonna sit it to the side and we're gonna check on it in a little bit and see how it did. Now I certainly could have figured out a different ribbon and used the whole, oh, there went my bow. See, we don't want that to happen. And you guys are gonna laugh at me. I gotta, when I'm crafting, most of the time I take my glasses off, but then I can't see when I drop things. All right, I was being super confident that this was gonna work. Let me add some more glue. And I'm just gonna hold it down. I think it's gonna be fine when it dries. And I'll just be careful with it until then. All right, I am just gonna set it to the side and we are gonna try not to, to bother it. Okay, so that was fun, that's one. So I know it is early November, y'all, but when I'm making Christmas things, I like to make them early enough in the season so that I can enjoy them or if I wanna give them as gifts or if someone wants to purchase a, a journal or some Christmas gift tags or things like that, I do it early enough that people can have it in time. So um, I know for some people, uh, you're not ready for Christmas items or to be thinking about Christmas until after Thanksgiving and I respect that. Um, so if, if that's you, maybe you just save this video or saved it and are watching it in December. <laughs> that's always an option, right? Um, but I, I hope you enjoy it. And whether you do a Christmas or a holiday theme, um, maybe the ideas will work for you um, regardless, right? All right, now these have been printed on both sides. And... Um, I like the idea of having the word just hang off just a touch. And let's see. And we'll add some kind of topper here. Um, maybe uh, sometimes I do with this burlap to make it a little bit, um, the bow a little bit bigger is I'll do a, um, double. So we'll try that and see if we like it. If it turns out cute. And there's this one will be the tail. So we've got two tails on each side. This one's a little bit long. I'll trim it off. What do you think? All right now I think I'm gonna need I'm gonna get a glue dot. Um something to really hold that on. So this glue dot is probably too big and then it would get gunky, but you can you can cut glue dots to the size you want. Um, oh gosh, I've got one stuck to my finger here. We don't want to lose it. We'll, we'll use it for something. Um, there, that is gonna hold that on there. How cute is that one? Okay, so now we have two. It has a little extra on there. Glue dot stuck to my finger. So um, let's see where I might want to use that before I move on too much. Let's see. There's so many pretties to look at. Um, I, I haven't inked around the edge of this one, but I really think this flower is going to make me happy on here. I said that there. Um, bop, 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 bop. And this is that flower but in a fussy cut, which makes me happy when things repeat, the patterns repeat, and you can use them in different ways. All right, here is a Santa. I don't know if I want to use him there yet or not. Um, this always happens. You get something stuck to your finger, and it's like, now what are you going to do? Um, oh, this might be pretty. How about just the Merry Christmas one? Um, what I love about these tags too is if you wanna leave that black thin line, you know, to give it some edging or really pop, you can. Or you can cut it a smidge smaller. Um, it really depends on what you wanna use it for. 
but you could cut and leave the white like I did. You could cut all the way to that bold green, and then there's even a really thin green line. So lots of choices. Um, I don't want to cover up the poppy too much. Yeah, maybe that's not it either. Maybe I'm going to put this glue dot here, and it's another bow, and we'll put something else on it. So I'm going to make another one, but I liked how it did being doubled. I may leave the tails a touch longer on this one. I feel like I go off camera sometimes and you guys can't tell me because you're not there while I'm recording. All right. All right, that glue dot got used. I'm happy. That bow is really cute. This one was not one of the three I had originally said I was gonna make. So maybe we're just gonna make all of them. I give it a little bit of ink. Now where'd that Merry Christmas go that I cut out? I think that's gonna look really cute, just like that. Yep. So only overlap a touch. There we go. Those glue dots were really a good way. If that red one has trouble, we'll use a glue dot on it. Okay, what do I wanna do with this one? I think this needs something. Maybe almost like a little collaged look. Let's think about that. So I'm trying to think of what's been going on. I um, was out of town for part of last weekend and then all week on a business trip. So I didn't get to craft much last weekend. Um, but this weekend, um, I, I had to work on Friday and be at another meeting for work. But I have Saturday, Sunday, and then I took Monday off um, because Tuesday here in Virginia is a state holiday for state employees. Um, selection day and so um, I have a four-day weekend so I have lots of crafting planned and I'm really excited about it um, there's some smaller of these tags so I've, I've been working on this journal which is um, a new collaboration with collage type which I'm really excited about and then um, I have uh, my new November Pink Monarch prints kit to play with. So I've got plans for that. There's um, a cute advent calendar folio that I'm going to be making with that. And then I've got just all kinds of other videos and ideas that I'm hoping I can get to over the next few days. Um, so think about me. <laughs> know that uh, I'm, I'm having fun and it's my stress relief so doing that and I've got a few other things I'm getting ready to um, start talking about as far as ideas for the new year and um, I, I'm hoping then I can get some input you know from you guys as, as I do that I um, am thinking that I might plan um, again I don't have all the details yet so but plan some in-person um art for, for women workshops um where we can um use art you know again to help us during heal and during times of transition and just have a whole lot of fun um, and learn some new techniques. I was thinking we could do some collaging together we could make a journal together and I could you know, provide the supplies and we could just have a grand old time. So, um, I don't know. I, I've been on retreats like that and made lovely, lovely friends that, that I've had for years. Um, and just think I'm ready to expand a little bit and do some things like that. So if that sounds fun to you, um, let me know. I'm 
going to try to find a way to make it as cost effective for everybody um, as I can, but certainly um, coming together in person and providing supplies and materials, um, you know, there, there will be a cost to it, but I think it'll be fun. And I think, um, I think I'm going to make a go of it and, and give it a shot. So let me know what you think. Let me know if that's something that you might be interested in someday participating in. Like I said, I've still got some work to do to um, get, get some things lined up to make that happen and some more research. But I, I think I'm well on the way. So let's see. And I'm hoping some of my... Uh, fellow creators here um, on Instagram and Etsy and stuff might think that's a good idea and want to um, have some fun with me, um, either join me or um, talk about if, if they, they have kits that I could purchase to use at an event like that, something like that. So lots to work out to make that happen. Um, I don't I think you guys know that. I don't make my own paper in kits. I, I like, it's not something I really enjoy doing. I've tried a few times, didn't really enjoy it. Um, that's not my skill set. So it just makes me happy to find kits and papers that I like. And of course, upcycling items like my mailers and my junk mail and magazines and things like that into pretty pieces. So that's where my heart is and where I pretty much stay. This is not um, working out the way I wanted it to. So I think I'm going to let it that this this one go a little bit. Did I already glue that down? I sure did. Um, maybe we'll come back to this one in a moment um, when I'm able to to give it some more thought because it just really isn't happening for me. Okay, it's going over here. We're not gonna think about it and we're gonna work on a different one. So let me do one of these. This one is already so pretty um, and has so much going on. I think what might be nice is a couple of these ribbons here that will pull through um, and then see what it's looking like. I always, I hate wasting my supplies, but I also hate when I cut the ribbon too short and then I've just wasted it because it's too short. So I usually err on making it easy for my fingers. And this one was way too long. Um, but I might, maybe I'll see if it looks funny if I tie a bow with one of these. Um, but I'd rather it be too long and be easy to hold on to um, for me while I'm tying and not be too short. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. It may not be, even though it's long, it may not be long enough to do a bow. So the other thing, since this one is so long that we can do is those will be good for a stapled size and then this should still be long enough. All right, so I think this one, for now anyway, just with the ribbon is gonna be sweet. Yeah, cute, right? All right, so there's that one. That one was easy. Um, this one, I definitely, oh, that'll be kind of fun. It sort of repeats there. And um, I don't mind covering up just that greenery there. So again, I may use one of those um, tags that has a word as a topper to do this one a little different. Let's see what we come up with. Maybe Santa. Um, I love the vintage Santas. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that'll be cute. Um, and again, I like how each one is a little, I mean, some of them repeat, which I love, but then some are a little different, but it still, um, coordinates, which I really like. All right. It's a little different. 
And you know what I think will be cute instead of this is let's try to let me try to tie another little bow. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit smaller and then um, use one of those glue dots or a partial glue dot to hold this down, but put it kind of at the bottom maybe. Maybe at the bottom, we'll see. So um, you guys are listening, I hope you are. Um, leave me a comment, tell me what kind of Christmas crafts you really like to make or you would like to see me show you how to make. Um, is there anything in particular? Um, I don't right now have any um, shows that I'm doing. Yeah, it'll be pretty there. Um, this season, I, I didn't sign up in time and life's been a little crazy. Um, but when I do go to craft shows, um, I like to make some of the different favors, right? Um, they're always good, big sellers for people to give as gifts at work or to teachers, that kind of thing. So I like to make um, the hot chocolate pouches and um, the... Um, are, are doing with the tea bags with the honey. I like to make the candy ones, you know, where they look really cute and, and all wrapped in the pattern papers and things. Of course, Christmas cards are fabulous um, and other little favors. So tell me what you guys like, or if you've, if you've seen something, you're like, gosh, I wish I could figure out how to make that. I don't know if I know how, but let me know and we can uh, give me some ideas um, for some videos for you guys coming up over the next few weeks. Um, if there's something in particular that you've seen or you'd like to see done again or in a different way. So um, like I said, Christmas and the holidays, some of my favorite times I, I am really excited. Um, I don't even know if my cousin, Rebecca, I call her Becky, if she watches my videos. But um, she and I are going um, to uh, the Biltmore house um, for a girls weekend. And we have tickets at night to do the tour and to see all the holiday decorations. And I absolutely cannot wait. Um, we're going to have such a good time. And I know I'm going to come back um ready to craft and make things, you know, that I've seen or that made me happy, um, or get some, hit some of the good antique stores and get some good vintage items to use in my craft. So always fun to do that. Uh, the last time we got together, we were in the mountains here in Virginia and I found some really beautiful antique fabric and I found, um, some papers and a few different things. So, um, always fun and fun times to think about um, how I can use different things to make make items. Um, but I have not been to the Biltmore house at Christmas. I've always wanted to go and I haven't even been to um, the Biltmore house since I was like a teenager. I was in Asheville as a young adult back in the nineties, I think, but it's been a while. So um, excited, excited to go. And um, I think, well, I know we'll have a good time. We always have a good time together. So anyway, that's happening. That's coming up. And um, I don't know. Are you guys doing anything fun like that to get, get, get you in the, the holiday mood, spirit? Um we always, since our kids have been in college, we, we do our Christmas tree at Thanksgiving. Um, you go ahead and, and get it from the Christmas tree lot and, and put it up. For years, we did an artificial tree. Um, but a couple of years ago, we started doing a real one, which was just very different and a, a very beautiful experience. Um, so I think we're going to do that again this year. So the kids will help us pick the tree out and hopefully we can get it decorated too um, while they're home. But um, so I know I'll be ready because I will have been at the Biltmore house and um, looking at everything. Okay, so I'm liking this side or this flower with this color a little bit better. And I'm, I'm actually thinking I'm going to cover the hole up a little bit and um, maybe layer this. Let me think about this. 
or I may just leave it just like this because for some reason, as much as I love this flower, it is flummoxing me. I'm having a hard time. Maybe this is the flower I need to use, the fussy cut one. So if you guys noticed, I have, um, I've got one, two, three, four, and I'm kind of working on them um, all at the same time. This is part of my process when I have this many things to choose from and it could go to way, go, go together in a bunch of different ways, right? Um, there, there's nothing that says um, that this piece has to go with this piece. So I, I tend to kind of lay it all out and make a little bit of a mess and it, it lets me kind of think through what I want to do. So let's see, ooh, this is it. This is gonna be cute. Um, I'm not sure yet what else, but I think, I think I have discovered what I want to do with that flower. Um, I just, like I said, I had all these off cuts and I hate throwing away paper that I've used ink on and is now pretty paper. So, um, I mostly did circles but I did a few squares too and I think with this Santa faux stamp that's gonna be cute and we're gonna put the flower at an angle and then I'll use that circle flower for something else later glue I made a mess with. Oh, not too much. Cute, right? Um, let's see if I know if I have a little word. Let's see how winter, if I cut it out of this tag, will look. And if I don't like it on here, I am sure I will use it for something else. I did just put a new um, sponge on my dauber, which I know you guys are very proud of me. Normally I'm using it and it looks so icky because um, it's falling apart. So I did just earlier today put a fresh one on and it is nice because it's not leaving gross little trails everywhere. All right, so I think what I want to do for this one, where did my twine go? I tossed it over here. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of twine on this one. And again, I did cut this one long because, again, I'm going to double it up um, to give it a little more heft. Let's see how it looks. All right. Mm. Yeah, I like it a lot better. There we go. There's that one. Now, um, it's funny how I said I didn't like this ribbon and it wouldn't tie pretty bows and here I am, I'm gonna do at least one more, probably two more, um, just to finish these off. Now, I still have lots of things I can do with the rest of this. Um, you see all the things I've cut out to help decorate pages and make pockets. Um, but I do think after I get these finished, I'm gonna stop this video um, and work on the journal some more, and then I'm sure I'll do a flip through for you guys on here. Um, and I've got a couple of other folio videos um, I'm planning on making and posting before too long. But again, if you have ideas or something you know you wanna see, if you've asked me previously for something and I still haven't gotten to it, remind me, please. You can leave me another comment. You won't be pestering me. I um I keep a list, but sometimes it's hard to remember. Like I didn't, 
anyway, let me know if you had a request and I still haven't gotten to it um, because I can um, go back and do better. And um, sometimes, like I said, I just don't make my list as um, descriptive as I need to. And then I'm like, which folio did they want? And um, can't remember. So if I've missed a request, let me know. All right. I'm really liking how these are coming together. I've got to decide what I want to do with this last one. There's something about these pretty birds that are making me very happy. So see how easy it is to just kind of start sticking it all together. I don't know if that was enough. I didn't cut that glue dot very well. <laughs> see, I left most of it on the roll. All right. These are sticky. All right, I saved that piece. <laughs> Hope it doesn't take my fingernail polish off. All right, very good. Now, what are we gonna do with this last one with this sweet little bird? Um, I have little tiny circles. And I'm thinking I'm going to do this. Put this little piece here. And I have this little piece here. And I think I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna glue another circle on the back um, to cover it up a little. So let's see, probably a little piece of that glue dot wouldn't hurt. And some wet glue. The, the glue does okay on the ribbon, but what I discovered with that one I was trying to glue, I'm gonna check on it here in a minute and we'll see how it did. Um, it will, it, it kind of leaves you can see it. It makes a wet mark, and I'm not sure if it dries clear yet or not. So, of course, this one I'm going to cover up with circles, so it probably didn't matter. All right. All right, so now let me find... Oops. Remember, if I put the glue dot, <laughs> it was very sticky. Let me find another one. Let's see if I want one. That one has a little bit of a red berry showing. Since I have this, I'm just gonna use it. And I'm probably gonna add a touch of the this glue too. All right, this one isn't gonna go anywhere. Cute, I like it. All right, so let's check and see how this one's doing. Yep, look, I'm, I'm tugging on it. It's not going anywhere. Very sweet. So that was probably the most involved one we did with that little pocket. But I do like how these turned out. Let's see how many we made. We made three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine we made nine tags and then i have um, a few that are already in the front pocket so this is definitely going to get me started these are going to be pretty stuck throughout that journal and i have plenty of other things that i can keep um working on to make a few more um tags and uh embellishments um i have this one <laughs> That, that I might be able to save uh, pretty easily. I'm gonna I stick this Santa on it. So you'll see it when the journal is all finished and um, I'll be sure to, 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 to pull it out and show it to you when I do a, a flip through, okay? So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope this was relaxing and gave you a few ideas. So until next time, you guys take care.